The new patriotic party is getting closer to select a flag bearer to lead the party into the 2024 elections. The party just completed the vetting process for all 10 aspirants. The vetting process, which began on July 3 at the party's campaign office, was done serenely and without the chaos that characterized the filing of nominations weeks ago. Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, former Trades Minister Alan Chemating, and private business executive Kwajopoku began the process. First to face the vetting committee headed by former Speaker of Parliament Professor Michael Kwe was Alan Chemating. Mr. Chemating is contesting to be flag bearer of the party after three previous field attempts. Alan Chemating, who is regarded as one of the front runners in the flag bearer race, was buoyant after the vetting process. I've just had the opportunity of going through the vetting process for presidential aspirants for our party and I had a good interaction with the committee. As you're all aware, I've been through this exercise uh, on uh, several other occasions, so I'm quite familiar and comfortable with this process. Uh, I will start my constituency tours in Greater Accra. Um, I have decided that I'll introduce an innovation uh, into my constituency uh, tours by clustering constituencies for the purpose of bringing our party executives together, not just within their own constituencies, but in a few other constituencies in the cluster. That will help energize uh, our, the rank and file of our party. I mean, it's all about making sure that we work together as a party in our march towards victory 2024. Next to face vetting was private business executive Kwajopoku. The energy consultant, who is relatively unknown in the race, has been confident about his chances since he made public his intention to contest. Kwajopoku revealed that he received an applause from the committee after his vetting. I started this process last year, February, and with all the support I have across the nation, it shows that I am the one who the youth of this nation are looking forward to. I don't see anyhow, any form that I'm going to look. The five that is going to be shortlisted, I am one of the first people that will come through the shortlist. Then from that, the November election, inshallah, I will most definitely win the election. Like I said, it's a family matter and it's confidential. As you are aware, only me were allowed into the vetting. And basically what transpired is the processes that we have gone through, verifications of the documentation that we presented, and a conversation among ourselves. Um, I think some people's one took two hours. So one hour is the shortest that I think has been. It means that everything went well, the conversation was smooth, I answered all the questions they asked, in the best of my ability. The last candidate on the first day of vetting was Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. Dr. Baumia is seeking to replace his boss, the President, as leader of the NPP and many regard him as a leading candidate. The Vice President's arrival at the party's campaign office was greeted with a heavy presence of state security. Vetting continued into Tuesday, July 4. Three more aspirants were billed to appear. The first aspirant for the day was former Energy Minister Boachie Jakun. Mr. Jakun, who is contesting to lead the NPP for the first time, was Energy Minister under President Akufuado for a year. After the vetting, Mr. Jakun declined media interview as requested by the committee. Former General Secretary of the party, Kwabne Japong, followed a Jakun on the second day. Kwabne Japong was found guilty of violating party rules and was suspended as General Secretary in 2015. He has returned to vie for the flag bearer position, having failed in three previous attempts. Kobne Japong is campaigning on a new dawn mantra. My advice to the national executive, I've been a general secretary myself, when you have an even-handed process and it produces a leader, and it, it facilitates unity amongst us and I think that as a political party, MPP, we have the numbers. If we are a cohesive unit, we are united and we have a decent, fair process. And then the chances that we can really win in 2024 gets enhanced. Tuesday's vetting session was climaxed with the Member of Parliament for Asin Central, Kennedy Japan. The session for the first time contender Kennedy Japan lasted for close to three hours. The premises of the party's campaign office was filled with a crowd of supporters 
who cheered on their Sin Central MP before and after his vetting. On day three of the vetting process, Dr. Kufi Kunedwa Preku, a former trades minister with a presidential ambition that dates to 2007 when 17 people contested the NPP's presidential primaries, was the first to be vetted. Dr. Preku has been touting his experience in economic management and policy making. His time with the committee lasted for a little under two hours. A former agri minister, Dr. Ousue Fria Koto, followed right after Dr. Preku. The former agri minister, after his vetting, which lasted about two hours, spoke of how well delegates are receiving his message. We started Greater Accra, and the reception has been wonderful. Really, really good. We'll continue. Tomorrow in the uh, uh, central region, then we go to the uh, eastern region, Ashanti. We're going to be doing of the regions, not necessarily finishing every region before moving to another region. It's amazing. The message is, is going very well with the delegates. They realize that we are very much aware of the, their situations. And they are very confident that under my leadership, the party will grow stronger and stronger and break the eight come next year. Jogate, the member of parliament for Esikado Ketan, was the last candidate to go through vetting on Thursday. Jogate was confident about making the five candidates to be chosen for November's Congress. He was also unperturbed by concerns of an uneven playing field. Maybe I'm blind. Maybe you can, you can tell me about how the playing field is not level. But you see, <laughs> I, I talked to somebody who said to me that, oh, so, 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 so. And I said that you haven't talked to the master statistician. He said, who's the master statistician? I said, the master statistician is God. Whether they play, I've faced <laughs> worse things in my life. So, I me, mean, I'm not faced by anything you do or say. So you don't think any of the candidates is being uh, favored against the others? Favored in what way? I mean, uh, you know, everything casts cast both ways. Favored in what way? There's an advantage in incumbency. There's a disadvantage in incumbency. Everything cut both ways. I mean, just, I'm not going to spend my time thinking about other candidates. I'm going to spend my time thinking about Jogati and the people of Ghana. I'm going to spend my time thinking about what will happen if, by God's grace, on January 7, 2025, I'm sworn as pres president of Ghana. Former MP for Mampong, Francis Adenimo's vetting culminated the process on July 6. Mr. Adenimo, who is not new to the NPP presidential race, was confident about his chances after the process. This is an in-house matter, so just to assess your qualifications for the position that I'm seeking, that is to lead the party. So the engagement was smooth, cordial, friendly and refreshing. At the end of the entire process, the OK Vetting Committee addressed the media. The party in submitting this has listed under duties and responsibilities what every aspirant is expected to do and what officers of the party are expected to do. That is not the mandate of this committee. As I said, the committee is to submit a report to the National Party that such persons are qualified to move to the next stage of the whole process. As to complaints and comments they are reserved for the National Party, not this vetting committee. As far as we are concerned, everybody who appeared here will attest to the fact that we were candid, this person were fair, and they had all the opportunity in the world to respond to our questions. And we asked the relevant questions for each of the aspirants, irrespective of the fact that you are a former minister, you are a sitting vice president, or a former MP, or whatever status. We treated them equally and fairly before us. That's the most important thing. The party has now completed the vetting of all 10 flag bearer hopefuls. Uh, on Monday, July 10, the vetting committee will submit its report to the National Council. And thereafter, if more than five aspirants are declared qualified after the processes, the party will go into a special delegates congress on August 26 to whittle down the number to five. And then in November, the National Delegates Congress will be organized to elect the party's flag bearer for the 2024 general elections. My name is Charles Osukumi for City News.